So if you've ever been in this situation, you hang up a picture, you leave several nail holes in the wall after trying to hang up, you know, the frame, you're just not really sure it's trial and error. Oh, I mean, everybody's been in that situation. I know I have. Leslie Gatiss may have a solution for just that after she tries out the hang and level in this week's Does It Work segment. If you've tried it yourself, you know hanging pictures can be a pain. Kurt is a professional framer and hanger. Most problems that people have a picture hanging is how high do you put it? And if you hang it up and you put something at a certain height, what ends up happening is the person says, well, I want it a little lower, I want it a little higher. So they end up making about 10, 15 holes in the wall by the time they're done. The hang and level picture hanging tool may help if you're not a professional. It marks the wall and lets you know exactly where to put the nail for a perfect result. That's handy, it's got a level built in, two levels actually. The $15 hang and level looked like it would be easy to use. We're gonna use this to put the wire around for a lightweight picture, and then once we get it on there, we're gonna push that, which will make that little pin, make a little indentation in the wall so we'll know exactly where to put the hook. Typically, if you're gonna hang two pictures, something like this, what you wanna do is you wanna hang them at the same height on the wall. That's that, hard. That is hard. That's I've tried really myself. Hard. Well, what makes it even harder is on the back of the picture, if this wire isn't exactly in the same spot, and you can't put the you're not so you can't put the nail in the same you spot. You can't put the nail in the same spot. It. It's not going to ha hang. So this one is three and thirteen sixteenths. This one is three and five eighths. So they're three sixteenths of an inch difference. It may not seem like a lot, but the pictures won't hang at the same height with the nail at the same level. Can the hang and level help? We're just going to put it on there, and we can just put it up at the height we like. Now, how do you reach the button, though? Looks like you take your picture off, ah. put it down, push the button, and there's our little hole. That seemed pretty easy. Very easy. This is the tricky part. Right. This is what causes married couples to fight. I always tell my husband, just move it over a scooch after he has it hung. We evened up the two pictures with the hanging level and then nailed in our hook. But surprisingly, the pictures didn't match up. It took a few minutes to figure out what went wrong. Kurt used a hook when the product calls for a nail, so the picture was hanging a little too low. We corrected it by having the hook hit exactly where the nail mark was on the wall. And there we go. <gasps> Why have to do any math when you don't have to? When you start talking about 3 16 of an inch, my head starts to spin. The product worked with a hook on the back of a clock. But when you're hanging something below an existing picture, you have to remove it to make the hang and level work. It also worked with a claw tooth hanger centered on the back of a mirror, but it wouldn't work if there were two hooks, one on each side. Overall, we were impressed. I think it's a pretty good, um, pretty good tool. It certainly will help if you're hanging them side by side. The one thing I can see that would be the hard part is if you're hanging them one on top of each other. Hanging pictures in half the time without having to do the math? Wow, the hanging level does work. Leslie Gatiss, NECN.